we got this Model X 60D about three and a half years ago. It's a 2016 model. And I have loved driving it. I love a lot of stuff about it. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why we're selling it right now. So the warranty for this car is a four year warranty. And that four years is going to be up in December of 2020. We already knew ahead of time that we wanted to sell the car before the warranty was up. Um, we've had some service issues with it. Since this was a newer version, uh, one of the original versions of the hardware, there have been some problems like the door sensor and the Falcon Wing doors has fallen off a number of times. They've had to fix it and when it's fallen off, the door won't open and we can't get into the side of the car. Uh, we've had some issues with screens and the suspension broke for some reason. We still don't really know why. Um, we don't go off-roading or anything. So we've used the service and the warranty for this car quite a bit and we knew that we needed to um, get rid of this one and buy something else before that warranty was up. Timing-wise, uh, it is May of 2020 and I have not driven my car in two months because I'm working from home due to the coronavirus. So right now we're paying for the monthly um, car payment, insurance, all of this stuff, and I haven't used it. So that's why we decided that right now is the right time to sell it uh, for us and for our family and for our finances. The third reason that we're selling it just as a car is because there's some weird stuff that this car does that normal cars don't do. For example, lately when I walk up to my car, it knows my key is there, it unlocks the door and can get in. But as soon as the door closes, it says the key's not detected and it won't start. I've actually had to start my car with the app so many times and it's really frustrating. It's like, I just got in the car, you should know that the key is still here. And that's something that w wasn't directly fixable uh, for, for us to get fixed. When we bought this specific model, this was the second generation of the hardware. It has lots of extra cameras on it and stuff. And because of that, they were retooling all of the autopilot features. Three and a half years later, I still don't have all the features of Autopilot that the previous generation hardware did. So how long do I have to wait for all of these features that I paid a lot of money for? And I'm kind of done waiting, uh, and I, I'm kind of done having a beta car, and I'm ready to have a car that has been tested and actually works and is reliable and dependable uh, a bit more and, and doesn't need the service or have all the little bugs. And the last part about this car versus a normal car, the Falcon Wing doors are really cool. They look really nice. They get a lot of attention when I'm out and about. And it was really helpful when our daughter was little, uh, getting the car seat in, uh, getting all the stuff in the car. But our daughter is uh, three now, and I'm ready for a normal doors that I can just pop open real quick and grab something out of the car and close it again. For this, you have to wait for the whole door to open. It opens all the way, it closes all the way. I'm kind of done with it. So I'm excited to have a normal car again. And the last point I wanted to make is when I bought this Tesla, there were fewer Teslas on the road. It was pretty early. There were only S's and X's. And since I bought this, the threes rolled out. And Austin, Texas has a lot of Tesla owners now. We have one service center. Um, for the amount of service that this car requires, because of what I said earlier, it, it has been a night and day difference. The service quality, the service process from getting the car to what it is today. Now I do want to say the service center has been amazing. The people are wonderful. They're doing the best they can, but they are inundated with so many Tesla cars with the threes that are out and the number of S's and X's that are driving on the road in Austin now. So at the beginning, when I would drop off my car for some maintenance, it would come back fully charged, they would vacuum it, uh, they had a loaner car, and they would even clean it a little bit too. And now, with the last two times I've had to take it in because the suspension broke or something is wrong that's under warranty, they haven't had loaner cars because there's been too many uh, vehicles in and I've had to use uber credits which is nice so they're still finding ways to handle it um, but it's like it takes about a month to get into service and for something like 
uh, door sensor, I might have to wait for a while. Whereas the suspension, they did get us in a, in a couple days because the car was not drivable. So the, the service process has shifted quite a bit. And for this level of car, um, if it needs this much service, I expect to be able to get that service and to be back on the road and, and driving my kid around. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting a car that doesn't need as much service, and if it does, there's more dealerships and service centers than just one in the area. So how we are selling the car, we looked into a couple different options for um, personally selling it. We looked at putting it on onlyusedteslas.com. We also looked at a couple other online car sales where we could take pictures and list it and post it. Uh, but the price that the specific model is getting is not that much different than selling it to a dealership or to CarMax. So we took it to CarMax first to get a baseline of how much they would give us. And it was actually, it was quite low. So that one specifically, um, not sure why. Uh, this is a 60D, which you can pay to unlock the extra mileage. So maybe it was because the battery size is low. But there are a lot of people who are excited about a smaller battery because it doesn't require as much charging time and all that stuff. So we, we took it to a local dealership to see how much that trade-in value would be and they had a very reasonable offer. It is more than what we owe on our loan which was obviously really important and it is enough to get us towards uh, purchasing a different car for me when I need one. So we're actually going to take a couple months off from having a car for me since I'm working from home. And then when we're ready, uh, we'll do a video about our process for picking my next electric car, which I know it'll be an electric car, so I'm excited to, to look into that uh, at, the, at a later time. So thanks for coming along for this adventure for owning a Tesla, um, and excited to continue sharing with you our electric car stories as they happen.